Despite plans to abolish conscription next year, compulsory military service will continue for the time being due to the National Defense Ministry's inability to find sufficient recruits. This marks the third time the ministry has failed to meet a deadline for abolishing conscription. Well, the original plan was for the military to transform to an all-volunteer force next year. But yesterday, the ministry said that it would continue to conscript men born before 1994. Originally, the previous administration under President Ma ying Zhou had planned to establish an all-volunteer force by 2014, but this was delayed twice. Now, as the Ministry of National Defence cannot find sufficient recruits, it once again is unable to meet its goal of abolishing conscription next year. When the DPP was not in power and it had no experience in government, it would constantly criticise the KMT. Now that it is in power, it has realised how difficult things are. The Ministry of National Defence must make an announcement relating to the conscripts it needs after a careful evaluation. The Ministry of National Defence should evaluate the numbers of conscripts needed. It should announce these numbers only once, rather than re-evaluate everything year by year. The Ministry of National Defence said that although men born before 1994 would be ordinary conscripts, men born after 1993 would only need to serve four months. It said it only made the assessment after seeing that it could not find sufficient volunteer recruits.